We will have an energy independence strategy because America has the resources to become energy independent. We have enough oil, coal, natural gas, shale oil. We have the resources to become energy independent. And my team is already working on putting that strategy together. Because energy independence is not only an economic imperative, it is a national security imperative. Because we do not need to be dependent upon foreign oil from countries that do not like us. Just in the time that I've been in Congress, from January 2007, we were $8.67 in debt. Do you know how indebted we are today? After the debt ceiling vote that I was fighting against, raising that debt ceiling, we are now, we have the capacity to be in debt, $16.7 trillion. We have almost doubled our indebtedness in four and a half years. You don't spend all the money. I mean, truly it is that simple. But you have to have a president that will stand up, and if a bill comes that is spending more money than we bring in, that they pull out a pen. A president that will stand up and say, if you send me a piece of legislation that spends more than what we are bringing in, I will veto it. And it will be something as magnificent as a sharpie that we put pen to paper on and send the message, we are not going to spend more money than what we're bringing in in this country. Look, Michelle Bachman had it right. We have more energy than any other country in the world. We take all of our energy. 20% of your electricity here comes from wind, which is, makes it second only to Denmark as a producer of wind. Uh, I have always been a supporter of ethanol. I even supported ethanol, it was called Gasoil in 1984. Uh, and I did it for a practical reason. If my choice is for the next dollar to go to Iran or to go to Iowa, I pick Iowa. If the next dollar is to go to Saudi Arabia or go to South Dakota, I pick South Dakota. And if you look at the growing efficiencies of corn production, and the growing efficiencies of ethanol production, it has been a 25-year success story of greater and greater productivity, which has kept money here at home, enriched rural communities, created a much better environment for the United States, and the fact is we need to develop more and better science in biofuels, not cut them off. I campaigned here in Iowa against the three, three Supreme Court justices who delivered same-sex marriage to Iowa, and I'll come back. No matter what, I'll come back and make sure that not only do we defeat those justices in the future, but that we go to every single state. Why? Because if we don't, if we don't, then one by one, these liberal states or, or judicial opinions will come down. And the Supreme Court will say, well, we can't have all these different definitions of marriage, just like they did with abortion. It's the same game plan. So when people stand up and say, I'm for marriage, but I won't do anything about the states because of the 10th Amendment, the Tenth Amendment doesn't allow, Abraham Lincoln said it best, the Tenth Amendment doesn't allow states the right to do wrong. And